Jeez. What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again. And I'm surprised I actually left the camera at home. Who knew? But tonight, oh my god, was such a freaking haul. Reason why it was, my other camera didn't work. But I guarantee you, this GameStop haul that I found tonight is, I actually have to say, one of the best ones I've found easily in seven months. Now, of course... It is getting a little warmer out there. Tonight was pretty freaking cold, and I had to go to work afterwards. So I really couldn't film what I could get because I only hit two game stops and they were pretty quick. Luckily, pretty much everything you're going to see in this video was from the two locations. So without further ado, I'm just going to take this camera over here, get it out of the way here, and I'm going to show you what I found tonight. Lo and behold, people. Go to uh, start off here. I want to save the best for last. So you can see over immediately over here, I found uh, the first GameStop here. I'm um, surprised they threw these out. Was uh, simply two uh, steering wheels for the Wii, which I actually didn't have. So now I actually can play Mario Kart in its true form without using the uh, controller. But now I could use the steering wheel for this. And I actually have two, so that's pretty cool. And I uh, found a few cases, which isn't a bad thing here. i actually show you right there. It has a Super Mario Brothers Wii U. And uh, two Xbox 360 cases, which I could always use as backups. A Complete Edition uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PS3. Greatest hits. Cool thing is, though, uh, you know, it doesn't have the game. But it actually has a travel guide. And it has a street map. So that's pretty cool right there. Can't beat that. I can always use that for an extra poster or something. You know, who knows? But, like I said, it was pretty cool to find this in there. And, got a few uh, PSP cases for FIFA 06. Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Golf 07. And, Die, Die Sims 2. I believe this is uh, German, if I'm not actually mistaken. Because the in German is actually D. Or, of course, here it would say Die. But this is actually, I believe, yeah. This is a PAL version. I actually just didn't realize this till now. Wow, that's a little peculiar. Also, uh, let's see, well, now we're getting over to the second GameStop. And, you know, of course, I found uh, two extra cords for the uh, iPod or an iPhone. Like I said, these are always honestly good to have, you know, just to have them randomly in the house. If you have one connected to, to your computer or any USB device with a power plug, and it's always good to have. And, um, you know, find another Xbox 360 cover here, or case for Need, uh, need for Speed Hot Pursuit. And, it was something that was, uh, these are actually promotional artwork ones, just for the hell of it. I just grabbed them for the Xbox One, uh, for Titanfall, and I believe uh, Ninja Gaiden 3, which is really cool. So, I just wanted to just grab those just for the hell of it. And, uh, over here, and this is why I always say people check those uh, you know, uh, Nintendo DS cases and 3DS cases because you will find uh, these. And, you know, some of them might not work. Some of them will work. And these are, like, literally like a nice little stack of Nintendo Club points, which I already used. So don't ask for the codes. You're not going to get them. They're already used. And two Wii U, or I should say uh, two Nintendo Wii stands with the uh, plastic holders. They actually do stand up, so if they don't tilt over... That'll work perfectly for you. And over here, uh, speaking of the Wii, I actually found three Wii uh, con gel controller uh, holders, which are really cool. You know, you can always use an uh, extra one of these. And over here is a uh, Metal Gear Solid HD booklet. Uh, it's, like, I guess, part of the collector's edition. So you can see it's a little timeline, uh, you know, from the disc-based games here. Try to go through it as quick as I can. Well, with one hand, basically. But it kind of gives you the uh, the 25th anniversary uh, Metal Gear deal here from 97 to the present. And it has some really cool artwork in here. And, I mean, I'm definitely keeping this. Uh, you know, because I was a fan of it back in the day on the NES days. So I'm definitely keeping that. And as we go over here, speaking of uh, Konami stuff... Here is the uh, Zone of the Enders HD collection uh, for the PS3. Uh, it's just a box. Uh, you know, I did check it. And just to show you, if I could open this up with one hand here. Oh, give me a second. Try to open this up with one hand. 
you know, sadly, there's no game, no booklet, none of that. But, you know, I do consider the artwork very cool. Uh, you know, it's in gold. As you can see, right there, it's all shiny. But, yeah. Um, I might try to pick up this game if it's on the uh, 360, just to see how it is. And uh, one of the other things I was surprised to find in the uh, when they threw it out in the trash was the uh, strategy guide for Battlefield 4. And this is a hardcover, not a soft cover. Um, the cool thing I noticed too that it, when it uh, when I checked it out, it actually came with some of the maps here. Uh, so you get Dawnbreaker, Flood Zone, Hunting Resort. Uh, the damn rogue transmission. I mean, this was all in there, people. And I was really, like I said, really surprised to find this, uh, you know, in the trash. And this is, like, pretty much in mint condition, too. So you can't beat that, people. And next up here, uh, see, I don't know if I did show this in one of my last GameStop uh, finds. But it was a 48-hour uh, free Xbox Gold Trial uh, subscription. Now, the question I want to ask you guys is... Um, when I use this, does it just start for the 48 hours countdown, or would it just like take, say, an hour off or three hours off from the 48 hour subscription? I'm uh, curious to know. Please let me know if you guys have ever used this before. And next up here is an, actually an Xbox 360 startup disc. You know, just to have it for the hell of it. But the thing here is, uh, when I was on my way to work uh, tonight, I saw this and I pretty much immediately grabbed it. Now, if it was going to work, it was going to work. If it wasn't, it wasn't. And that is an actual Xbox 360. Yeah, it, look, it does honestly look in some pretty damn rough shape. Um, you know, it's got a lot of wear and tear on it. But I did test this uh, before, you know, beforehand, and it does work. Now, the only slight problem that I noticed is, of course, without the uh, faceplate for the 360, uh, is when I uh, uh, do that, it kind of just stops and goes. So I don't know if it's a major mechanical problem or a minor one that can be uh, self-fixed. Or just might need the new drive, but um, I did not yet put a game in to test it at work. So the game that was actually in there was a SpongeBob game, and it was pretty much just totally crapped out, didn't work. Uh, what I basically did was, you know, try to get it out a little bit, get the game out. But I mean, the console does work. There's no red ring of death, and it does come, you know, with a pretty beat up controller, which I did test. Um, you know, replacing the Analog sticks are not that much of a problem to do, and it's a quick cleanup. I just got to get the bit uh, for it to unscrew it and clean it out. And yeah, that's it, people. So, you know, a free Xbox 360, you know, with a little TLC, you know, new, uh, new faceplate, you know, would definitely be a good thing. I would think about, uh, can, you know, maybe sell, uh, trading this up for something. You know, who knows? I haven't debated that yet. I always will do a future video for that. But yeah, people, that's about it. That's my haul for tonight. And like I said, people, I do got to admit this, though. And this is something I could give a small tip to all of you out there. If you have an inkling or a gut feeling on something, especially if you're going to go out diving and you know it's a good feeling, go for it. If you think, you know, you're not really up for it and your gut feeling is telling you the same, don't really go out there. You know, I mean, that's just me, per se. And, you know, that's one of the tips I could give you. But definitely, you know... If you're looking for stuff out there, stay persistent because it's the fact that if I can find that, you know, that's a good thing. But that's about it, people. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Daily Motion, you know, for those updates. And, you know, that's about it. Thank you so much, everybody. And like I said, this is one of the best hauls I've had in a while. And that's about it. Thank you, everybody. Take care and have a good night. Cheers.